This week, we are heading from the Atlantic to the Gulf Coast of Florida. We'll navigate the wind and rains of Tropical Storm Ada. Oh my God, look at this. This is wild, this weather today. And explore what Naples has to offer. Wowzers. Aww. It's a whole lot of water and rain. It's a rainy day here in Miami, um, but we're heading to Naples. I'm a little bit nervous about it because it looks like this week's just going to be so much rain in Naples, and I was really looking forward to, you know, going to the beach again. Oh my god, look at this. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's, that's, that's Etta. Uh, I think she's just a tropical storm right now. We are heading out and Hurricane Ada is on its way. They said it should get up to like 70 mile per hour winds today. It's actually not a hurricane yet, but I think 74 miles per hour it becomes a hurricane. So we're going to try to get to Naples before Ada does because it's heading straight there. Getting directions to Naples. Two hours and 32 minutes. Starting. Fingers crossed we don't blow over. We made it to Naples. We beat the storm. When we were leaving Fort Lauderdale area, mm -hmm. it was flooding around right. our friend's we place. We beat a it lot was... of the flooding. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a lot of flooding in Miami, so. Yeah, it's even worse right now. We're getting some wind and some rain and a Just lot of, I mean, constant rain. rain. You'll never believe it, but it actually stopped raining. The sun just like came out literally as we walked up here. Wow. Earlier when we were running around, we went and picked up a little shark, but I'm excited to get all the sand out of the spaces. What an awesome day. We thought that this tropical storm Ada was going to turn into a hurricane and completely ruin our, you know, Florida, the rest of our Florida stay, and it's gone. It was so hot today and so beautiful outside. I almost felt like I was in another country in Naples at the pier. Everly had a little bit of trouble seeing fish get caught. You can fish there without a license. Um, and so there were tons of people fishing and throwing their catches onto the pier and Everly was so sad watching the fish um, dying. But she was trying to convince all these fishermen to throw their fish back and they looked at her like she was crazy and we were like, okay, we're gonna have to get off this pier because this is really causing her some like emotional stress. It's another day in paradise here in Naples, Florida. The tropical storm must have just completely dissipated and the sun is out, it's beautiful, and Mars is working today, so I'm taking the kids to the Naples Zoo! zoo. To the zoo! Woohoo! We're gonna see lions and tigers and animals! Let's go!
was a great success. What do you think, Evs? It was so cool. I got so close to a line, I could almost touch it. It was a great way to kill like four hours today. So now and we're gonna look around Naples for something else fun to do. Everly and I did a little bit of driving and exploring and we found ourselves a state park. It looks like there might be rain coming, so we're gonna try to make this quick. He's not even alive. Like a brisket. Well, it's another day here in paradise, except the tropical storm is actually heading this way. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday. We really thought that maybe we just lucked out and it was gonna be sunny and wonderful this week, but today is rainy and it's gonna get worse this afternoon. So we're just gonna do some homeschool this morning and kind of lay low in the van, leaving the door open though, because it's still really hot. It's nice having that like side breeze, so keeping the door open and just listening to rain. Floors are getting a little wet, but it's okay. That's you. Use the words in the bold put to help you after the question. What tells you the day? So homeschooling in the van can be kind of difficult, especially whenever Atlas is acting like a baby and he's literally crawling all over our dog. Um, one of our favorite things to do when we're homeschooling is to go to a park and then Everly will have a table, like a picnic table, and she'll do her homeschool outside. But obviously today is rainy and, and gross out and so... We're doing it in the van today and we'll probably just make it a shorter day, which is one of the benefits of homeschool is being able to kind of like adjust it to what works for you. And oh my gosh, the wind is getting so nuts. The van is like, feels like it's gonna blow over. This is wild, this weather today. It's crazy, I'm just sitting here watching this street in front of me get flooded. Yeah, I'm not about to try driving around today to find something to do inside. It's our last day over here in the Naples area and so okay. I'm going to go check on Mars and see how his consumer event is going. And um, and then Everly and I are going to head over to Lover's Key. We had a few people suggest uh, that we check that out while we're over in this area. And so that's so where we're going. To make a U -turn. You guys giving away free stuff? How are you? We are giving away Caravive scalp treatment kits. Today, one day only. Mars asked me to come say hi to him at work, and I realized it's just because he wants me to make him lunch. So, I guess I'm gonna make him a salad. What was that? I just love this poppy seed dressing. With blueberries, so arugula, good, huh? 
We're so good. Are we gonna go to Lover's Key? What do you wanna do? I thought about going to Lover's Key. Also, Sanibel Island is like right next to us, or Sanibel, and then Captiva or Captiva. Um, there's a dog beach over there, and so I thought about going there while I wait for you to get off work, and then we can kind of figure out our parking spot for the night. I can roll with that. It's just really hot, so the weather is amazing again, and so <laughs> now we're we're dealing with the, the hot van issue, you know, because we have a gas engine, we don't have a diesel, so letting it idle is, with the AC on is not really the wisest thing, so we gotta go find ourselves a dog beach. That's our saving grace here. Enjoy go going back to work. I'm going back to work, just have like an hour or so left, so. Okay, cool, bye baby. So today, I'm gonna take off the last bit of wrap that I've had up on the van from a tour I did with Bud Light Seltzer. And this tour is pretty cool because I essentially went around the state of Oregon promoting leave no trace and recreate responsibly principles. Um, it was a lot of fun, I met a lot of cool people. Obviously the sights were incredible, but it's time for the wrap to go. We've held on to it for like a month and a half now at this point. So you wanna see how hard it is or easy it is to take off a wrap on a vehicle? Check it out. That wraps up our time here in Naples. And that's where we're gonna leave you this week. <laughs>